Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Skudobuyu playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the sixth in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I'm going to begin uh, draining the water from inside the monument uh, by first removing the water from inside the penthouse at the top. Uh, this chest here shows everything that I'm going to need uh, for all of the draining. Uh, and uh, a lot of this equipment is really just leftover stuff from when I, I was killing the Elder Guardians. Uh, I'm going to bring all that I have remaining. Uh, and um, uh, in addition, I'm going to bring uh, uh, along a lava bucket and my remaining flint and steel. Uh, I've got my three dried out sponges uh, and I'm going to bring a furnace plus some furnace fuel for drying out the sponges as I go along. I'm also going to bring along, uh, well, I really want three blocks of prismarine, and the reason why is because I broke three blocks in uh, defeating the Elder Guardians. I want to repair those. Uh, I only have two, but I also have a couple of prismarine shards. Probably get a couple more of these as I go along draining the interior, um, and I can use them to craft a third one to uh, finish the repair work. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to be bringing along some tools, um, and uh, because I expect to burn through these tools, I'm going to bring along also some sticks uh, and my crafting table, uh, and I'll be uh, making new tools as I go along using some of this cobblestone. I uh, probably won't have to create very many, but um, I, I will have to create some, and I'd rather build them on the fly rather than fill up my inventory with tools. I'll also be bringing along a chest uh, to manage my inventory a little bit better while I'm over there. Uh, the guardians, any guardians that I encounter and kill, uh, will be dropping stuff, and, um, and that can fill up my inventory pretty fast. So I'll bring along the chest uh, and also a boat to get out there and to get back. Uh, okay, uh, so let's head out. Uh, in the last video, I built that cover that you see out there. Um, that makes it a little bit easier for me to. Uh, uh, get in and out. Um, guardians can still see me and take shots at me from over here, but um, it's much less likely. So I, I feel comfortable retrieving my boats. I'm going to head back into the sand ring that I built when I killed the, uh, uh, the Elder Guardian in the penthouse at the top of the monument. I'm just going to jump down here into the water, and I'm going to want to uh, go into that water right there. Um, there's a jack-o'-lantern directly underneath the hole, and I'm going to uh, get onto the jack-o'-lantern and go back into my door enclosure that I placed uh, when I defeated the, um, the Elder Guardian here. So I'm going to want to head down here, and I'm going to scoot right over here, and the reason why I'm in here is because uh, guardians, uh, e even though guardians spawning inside the monument uh, should be reduced due to the cover, uh, they can still spawn inside here, and I just want to make sure that there are none down here. Uh, uh, or if there are any, it just makes it a little bit easier for me to avoid uh, being attacked by them while I drain the interior here. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to want to place down a furnace. Let's go ahead and just uh, drop that. Well, let's see. Where's a good place for the furnace? Right up here. Uh, and uh, that will be um, uh, that will be drying out my sponges uh, as I uh, as I use them. I'm going to want to place two sponges first. So uh, there's a square of cobblestone here that I put down in order to prevent the sponge from the Elder Guardian from falling through. Uh, and this block right here, that's kind of furthest from the jack o' lantern that I placed, I'm going to want to drop a sponge right there. Okay, a lot of water is going to flow back in. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna hop back, uh, hop on here, and there's a uh, there's a square of dark prismarine right over here, and uh, it kind of mirrors this uh, uh, cobblestone square. I'm gonna want to put a sponge onto the uh, uh, under that corner right there as well. I can reach it. There we go. Okay, a lot of water is flowing back in. That's fine. Uh, let me just go ahead and retrieve these two sponges and head back to my door enclosure. Okay. I'm going to dry these guys out using just um, wood planks for now. I don't think that there are any guardians down here, but just to be sure. And almost got my sponges back. There we go. Got three dry sponges again. Uh, and now. 
On each side of the penthouse, there are three pillars. You can kind of see them over there. There's one, two, three, and those are mirrored by three pillars over on this side as well. Um, I'm, what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to hop over here into the, uh, with these pillars, and I'm going to place a sponge on the other side of each one of these three pillars. So right here, right here, and right here. Okay, let me get these sponges back. And I'm going to go ahead and dry these out using a couple more wood planks. This is um, this will uh, drying out the penthouse requires basically a total of eight sponges. Uh, it's um, not very many, but uh, I will have to do a little bit of waiting until I find some more sponges. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do after draining this is uh, go in search of uh, a sponge room, so I actually have a little bit more, a uh, few more sponges in my inventory here. Uh, okay, so I uh, hit those three pillars over here. Now it's uh, time to come over here and hit these three. Uh, so on this side of the pillar, right there. There's one, two, and three. And there's uh, still a little bit of water left. It, it kind of depends on the orientation of the monument. This monument faces east, uh, and um, it can require a, a bit more, uh, a, a bit more to remove the water. In this case, I can probably remove a lot of the remaining water just with uh, um, just with a bucket. There were only a couple of source blocks up there, and um, and they're all gone now. Uh, and so the penthouse is completely drained. Um, it you can see that it is a little bit dark uh, in some places after it's been drained. Uh, over here, is, there's probably a light level of less than eight. No, it's still eight, um, but uh, I think maybe up here there's a light level less than eight. Yeah, there's a light level of seven uh, right here. Um, but you don't actually have to worry about any hostile mob spawning other than guardians inside the volume of the ocean monument. So uh, I really don't have to worry about lighting this thing up uh, unless I want to uh, avoid bats spawning. Um, and so I'm going to be placing, as I go through drain the interior, I'm going to be placing some torches. Uh, but things don't have to be lit very much, not nearly. Uh, seven is perfectly fine to prevent bat spawning. Um, uh, so I, I really don't have to worry about anything uh, anything uh, here. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start collecting these doors. My uh, furnace I'm going to leave there, and this jack-o'-lantern, um, well, I guess I, I'm, I can probably take this as well. Uh, in order to get back up, I can create a pillar, put some ladders on it, or I can use a bucket of water just to swim up there. Uh, but I'm not going to be going back up for a while, so I won't worry about it uh, for the time being. Uh, and that is it for this video. Um, everything is already uh, drained in the in, in the penthouse here. Uh, in in the next video, I'm going to be um, uh, searching for a sponge room to increase my uh, inventory of sponges. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.